Meanwhile, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has warned election stakeholders in Bielsa State it will prosecute those that endanger the lives of its staff during the upcoming governorship polls. INEC, while meeting with the stakeholders for the Bielsa Goba elections, urged them to play by the rules, saying it will continue to be a fair umpire. The INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, taxed all political parties in the state to obey INEC's election guidelines so that the polls can be a free, fair and credible one. We have a few areas of concern that I would like to share with the stakeholders. Number one is actions and utterances likely to lead to violence during electioneering campaign, during voting on election day, and during the coalition of results and declaration. Let me remind candidates and their supporters that attack on officials of the commission at polling units or through the collection processes will this time around attract severe sanctions. It has happened before. We had cause after the last general election, for instance, not to issue certificates to some of the candidates that forced some of the staff that we engage in the elections to declare them under duress. In one case, the matter drag on to court for some time. The court said we should issue the certificate of return and as always we obeyed court order but we are on appeal and we are determined that this matter should go up to the Supreme Court so that this matter can be determined once and for all. INEC is not a political party. We have no candidates in the Belsa governorship election. The choice of who becomes the next governor of the state is entirely in the hands of voters. The smart car readers will be deployed as usual, but learning from the experience of 2019, we have made ample arrangement, including getting additional smart car readers from one of the neighboring states to be used for training. So we'll train our ad hoc staff using the real thing so that on election day, there won't be the kind of issues reported in previous elections on ad hoc staff handling of this technology. The law requires that political parties must submit the list of their polling agents two weeks to the election to the electoral officers of the commission at local government level. We have received complaints in previous elections when parties will say that the security agencies have turned away their agents from the polling units and the collection centers. This is simply because we have not accredited them. You have not submitted the list. So don't go with the ta tags or IDs of political parties. You need the IDs of the commission, which accredits your agents for both the polling units and the various collection centers. So please submit the list of your agents two weeks to the election as required by law. And based on the timetable and schedule of activities, we expect that to be done on the 2nd of November. The 2nd of November is exactly 14 days to the election. 2015 recorded or was characterized with so much of violence, such that there was killings, there was thuggery, there was ballot snatching and all in 2015. We don't want that to repeat itself in this year, 2019, governorship elections. So we are asking the security agencies that are here today that INEC has limited power in the area of security. The security agencies are meant to provide security in this regard. We want a peaceful election. So we want the security agencies to put their house together, avoid compromise, because that has been the key thing, because where security men compromise, it turns the whole situation to shambles. I want to inform you that most of the leaders are closely being watched. Some of the party officials, we are closely monitoring you, and we are watching you closely. If you find that you are a threat to the election, then the election will be done behind you. 
but we don't want that. I want to inform you that this time around, we want to see a change, but I also want to tell you that we will not be here just for a tea party. We'll be here fully prepared. I want to, I want to inform you that campaigns must be done according to the rules and regulations. I want all the political parties to submit their itinerary, the campaign programs, to the Commission of Police before embarking on it. This will try to avoid any clash of venue as well as route being taken.